Hi, welcome back to McClatchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClatchy and we are continuing our 2023 External Exams playlist for Queensland General Mathematics. And we've got three multiple choice questions on sequences. Let's get right into that. Question six. In January 2022, 40 fish were released into a new dam that has the capacity to support 10,000 fish. It is predicted that the dam will reach its capacity in January 2030 if the fish population doubles every year. Which sequence rules models the prediction? So firstly, um, doubling means that the population is going to be multiplied by two year after year after year. It's a multiplicative process. So that means because it's multiplication, it's going to be geometric because arithmetic is constant addition, not multiplication. So that means we can have a quick look at these. This is geometric because it has a power. This is geometric because it has a power. This is arithmetic and arithmetic because they are um, no powers. We're adding on a part each year with that addition. So we can straight out rule out C and D because they're the wrong kind of sequence. Now we need to have a look that, at the difference between option A and option B. We notice T1, the number of fish is 40. And that's the same for both of them. So that doesn't help us. The common um, ratio of R is the same for both of those. It's two. So the only difference is the number of years. And this is where it gets a little tricky. So it's tempting to do 2030 take away 2022 and you get eight. However, when you do um, years, you actually need to um, not just do subtraction because you've got to count each year, 2022, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 is actually nine years. So that is actually going to be our answer for this one. So be very careful with anything that involves years. Don't just do takeaway because you've got to include the first year and the last year. Let's go on to question nine. Determine the sixth term of the arithmetic sequence that begins with three nine so first of all we're told it's arithmetic which means it's adding on a common difference each time so if we do nine take away three um, that is going to be six is going to be our common difference so we know um, there's going to be six terms in the sequence it's going to be the value of t6 is what we're looking for we've already done that common difference and found that that's a six as well lots of six is cropping up here our first term is three so we can simply put this into our arithmetic sequence with substitution. So the sixth term will be three, which is our starting point, plus six take away one, which is five multiplied by six. So five times six makes 30, plus three makes 33. So our sixth term is going to be B. Easy. And question 15. Um, the resale value of a boat shows geometric decay. So that word geometric points us straight away to a geometric sequence. Um, so that's our key word here. We can pluck that off our formula sheet there. Um, so we've got some um, information here. If year zero, it was worth $50,000. After one year, it was worth $40,000. After the second year, it was worth $32,000. So this enables us to work out our common ratio. Remember, our co common ratio is term one divided by this one or term two divided by that one. So we can work out that common ratio. 40,000 divided by 50,000 gives us a common ratio of 0.8. So what we can do here, we know that our value at the end of this sequence, we only want um, two more years on. So our value at the end of the third year, we're just going to take that 32,000 and simply multiply that by the common ratio. That will give us 25,600. Do that one more time and we're going to get to 20,480. You could also substitute it into the geometric sequence to find T4 and by taking T1 and then multiplying that by R to the power of 3. But this is also an alternative method, just as easy, gets you to the right place with B being your answer. Well, did you find this video helpful? I really hope so. And if you did, here's some way you can engage further with McClutchy Maths. First of all, consider liking and subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you'll always know when the next video is available. And why not look for the dot, dot, dot next to that little bell there? Um, it's the super like function. That's where you can give a dollar or two back to the channel using your PayPal account to say thank you. You could also engage further with us by telling someone about the video. 
pop it on your class one note share it with your students um, on whatever platform you're using at school and share it with a friend or a family member and tell us in the comments and why not consider following us on facebook and instagram if you've got any questions whatsoever about the questions you saw in this video, mcclatchymass at yahoo.com is the place to meet us. And if you found these questions challenging or difficult, why not consider jumping onto our sequences playlist and learn from scratch again all about sequences. Don't forget to jump onto our partner's website, exam-insights.com. This is your one-stop shop for all of the 2023 and previous year's exams and exam solutions. It's a wonderful free resource for students and teachers. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. You've been watching McClutchy Mass. I'm Natalie McClutchy. Have a great day.